already got another video for you guys for the Audi Dog Diag 900 Lite. It's by Top Den. Um, they sent me this to do a review, so I'm gonna be doing an in-depth review on this. Um, I'm gonna open up the packaging in the box. It has this case. The box to the side. This is the case that it's gonna come in. Okay, I'm doing this one in the car. So you guys can get an in-depth review so I can plug it up and check it out. This is the tool itself. It's really nice. It's really sturdy. It has speakers on the bottom. Okay. It has reset button, power button, headphone jack. You can actually plug the Ethernet into here, the USB, DC. This is to charge it. This is the, it has an HDMI port and a USB-C. And then this is the snap photos. And then this is the microphone slot. Okay, this is a Bluetooth wireless device. So it is wireless. It also has a five megapixel camera in the back. Um, it has a kickstand right here. This kickstand comes out. This is the OBD dongle that goes into the OBD port on your vehicle, which I'm gonna show you guys, okay. This is the kickstand, okay. This goes right back in the back. This is nice, like the way the tool, it's really, really nice, okay. So now I'm gonna hold on the power button to power the device on. This is how it boots up. Okay, so it's asking me to turn on the Bluetooth, so that's to the um actual uh over the dongle. Um, there's still a couple more things in here. Basically, there's still the USB C. They have it also comes with a OBD um, extension. So this is like an OBD extension, so you can connect it. This is the charger. Okay. And it also comes with the quick user guide and the user manual itself. All right, so we put this stuff to the side and let's try out the tool. All right. Okay, so basically this is all we need. So we have diagnostic, maintenance, updates, folder, library, tester, battery tester, and then we also have user info. So we have VCI management, firmware update, uninstalled diagnostic software, vehicle coverage lookup, customer service, system update, and settings. So we go to settings, then we have languages. These are the languages. Okay. Then we have unit, we have clear catchy, and then about. Okay. Then we have folders, updates. Okay, so the VCI is the OBD, so I'm gonna connect the OBD to the OBD port of my vehicle. So it just pops right out of the back. Put the tool to the side. Plug in to your OBD port, OBD2 port. Uh, it beeped. It's right down there. Okay, so what you do is um, 
this is the screen you're gonna start off from. Um, you're gonna use the USB-C that's in the in the packet that comes with it in the box. With it, okay. You use the USB-C and you plug it into the USB-C port on the bottom of the OBD dongle to sync it. It'll tell you to activate this first. So in order to activate it, you gotta plug this into this and then uh, then log in and then it'll automatically pull up the information and make sure the Bluetooth is on on the device. Just scroll down and just hit Bluetooth to make sure it's on. Okay, so now I'm in the system. So now um, we're gonna go to diagnostics. So basically it has, you can either get it through the VIN, uh, Asian, European, American, and Chinese. These are the car brands that they have. Okay. This shows the voltage right there, but that's just the voltage that I'm getting from the machine. That's not it actually plugged up to the vehicle. Okay, so these are all the vehicles that it, it will work with. And diagnostics. Screen is pretty responsive. It's pretty clear. Okay, so that was um, that was diagnostics. So now we're gonna go over to maintenance. So now we have oil, throttle, electronic parking brake, steering, diesel particular filter, uh, ABS, battery monitoring system. This is for like registering the battery, and then the airbag system. Okay. So these are the ones that it has. Um, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight maintenance items. Okay. Then we have the updates. It's right now it's connected to the internet. As you can see, it has an internet signal up here. Okay. Um, basically these are updates that it has and it tells you exactly what it fixes and what it doesn't fix. So these are all the updates that's available right now for the tool. As long as it says update. The green one means that it's already installed and you already did that update. Um, these are all the updates that are available right now at the moment that I haven't done on the tool. I haven't done the updates. I've done the update for the Acura because I have an Acura right now that I'm going to scan. So then we have the folders. This is the report. So like after you scan the vehicle, it'll come up here. Okay. Then we have library, DTC repair guide, service bulletin, DLC location, and warning light. Uh, library so I guess when you click on these let's see what it does I think it takes you to an option oh, okay it tells you what it is and what it could be this is pretty cool yeah it's a pretty cool function so this so it basically shows you what the light is on the dashboard that you get when you have a check engine light or the ABS light come on it tells you it could be a low battery, be on fuse, bad ABS pump. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so I guess that does it for all of them. Service bulletins. Okay, I guess you put in your year, make, and model. And it'll tell you what service bulletins, I guess, that are out for that vehicle. That's pretty cool. DLC location. I guess that's when you get a code. This is a repair guide. So if you get like a code, you can type it in here, I guess. Um, and it'll um, tell you what it is. Or the most common fix. This is awesome. Okay, so then now we have tester. I guess this is for the battery. This is like if you buy the, um, it's an attachment that connects to it, yeah. It's a BT Mobile Pro's um, device. So basically, I'm just gonna disagree because I don't have that tool. You'll connect it to the car's battery and it'll um, tell you if the battery's good or not. And then it says the user info. Okay, then it says VCI management, firmware update, uninstalled diagnostic software, vehicle coverage lookup, system update, shop info. This is where you can put your shop name if you have a shop name or anything like that. So you can put your info up in there. And then let's look at the vehicle coverage. Diagnostics. Make. Let's put in Acura. Let's put in uh, 
CDX. Let's put in TLX. Let's put in year. Uh, 2018. We'll hit Fury. Hmm, basically, it shows what it'll do. These are the ones that it does. AFS reset, sensor position for the headlights. Auto leveling, leveling for the headlights. What else do we got here? BMS, throttle adaptation, ECU clear, HV battery, motor HV, coolant bleeding. Oh, yeah, let's just say it has a lot of options for this vehicle. All right, so now I'm going to plug up the OBD and I'm going to scan the car and see how fast it scans the vehicle. All right, hold on. All right, so I plugged the OBD dongle into the OBD2 port. So now I'm going to hit on diagnostics. I'm going to turn the vehicle off. I'm going to put it in accessory mode. Turn the heat off. Just going to click on Acura. Automatic selection. I'm going to hit read VIN. Okay. It's going to pull up the VIN for the vehicle. Confirm. And it's from USA. It's establishing a connection with the vehicle. Okay. Confirm. Establishing a connection with the vehicle. Please wait. Okay, so they have auto scan, hot functions, vehicle profile. So vehicle profile, I guess it just shows you what the vehicle is and the mileage. So it's that hot functions, oil reset, BMS. Okay, then we're gonna do the auto scan. So click on auto scan here. And it shows you the progress, 7%. This is the battery voltage. Trying to get a good angle to where there's not any sun. It's 89% complete. Blind spot information has a fault. Okay, so one fault on the vehicle. It scanned all of these systems. All these sim systems came back normal, passed. Only one that came back was the blind spot monitoring system. And I'm going to click on that to find out more about that. See what that code is about. Read DTCs. Okay, it says left side BCI radar unit received audio navigation unit failure information. It says status pending. Okay, so I guess this is to surf the net, and then this is. Left side BCA radio unit, audio navigation unit failure. Yeah, well, that's off. 
I clear that code. Press OK to clear the code. Codes have been clear. Read DTCs. No DTCs were found. So it's reading the blind spot monitoring system and everything came back as normal. Everything's good to go. Okay, hit confirm. Then we're gonna go to hot functions. You know, that's there in hot functions. So we're gonna exit out. Then they have system selection to where you can just go to whatever system that you want. Hit confirm. This will take you to all the systems in the vehicle and you can click on any system that you wanna to go to to access um, certain modules. Okay, it says don't forget to remove the VCI from your OBD port. That's what it is, the VCI is the OBD dongle. Okay, just letting you know, don't forget it. Okay, and that's about it. And then you go to this screen, quick support, Chrome, files, and we go to settings, it's just like an Android tablet basically network bluetooth apps sound storage 17 gigs free missions screen lock count system and about see as you can see it's running uh android 11 bluetooth All right, uh, this is my review on the Top Done uh, Audi Diag 900 Lite. If you guys have any uh, questions, feel free to ask. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Peace.